Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 44 in chapter 22. Chapter 22 is about Gaussian's rule. So we can see we have this spherical object, right? And we know the density of charge between R1 to R0 is just rho e. We can see this rho e is changes with the variable r. Need to determine the electric field density as a function of r. So in this case, we can see the first part tell us r is larger than zero, smaller than r one. So we can see is this one right? So we can draw the Gaussian surface look like this one. And write down the Gaussian's rule. This is a e electric field density times the Gaussian surface equal to enclosed charge divided by epsilon naught. Right, so we can write the function e as the, this one, enclosed the charge divided by four pi epsilon naught r square. As we can see, inside this Gaussian surface, did I see there any? Is there any charge enclosed? No, right. So this is zero. Enclosed charge is zero, so makes the electric field equal to zero. The second one tell us the r is larger than r one, smaller than r naught, so it's there. Similarly, we can draw a Gaussian surface. Look like this one. Agree? So this is a electric field density times Gaussian surface equal to enclosed charge divided by epsilon naught. So the electric field function can be write as this one. Now we need to determine the charge enclosed. You can see the charge enclosed just at these regions. Agree? We can use the charge density times the volumes to get it. Now charge density times the volumes to get it. We can see the charge density changes with r. So there we do the integral rho e with dv, and this uh, dv can be written as the Surface four pi r squared for one shell times the thickness of the shell dr, right? Yes. Now we can see this integral is from the r one to r, r one to r. So we can just uh, solve this integral and input the rho e inside. You can see function look like this one and do the integral. We get the enclosed charge in this term. Replace the enclosed charge by this term. We get the electric function look like this one, and then you can see pi pi cancelled, and then simplified. We get the final answer look like this one. Mm -hmm. The third one tell us is r is larger than r naught, so it's zero, right? Similarly, we can draw the Gaussian surface, and then. Electric field density times the Gaussian surface equal to enclosed the charge divided by epsilon naught. Write the electric, uh, electric field density function look like this one. Now we need to determine the enclosed the charge. So enclosed the charge is this one, right? Just uh, this uh, regions from the R naught to uh, from the R one to R naught. You can see in this case the density times the volumes. Similarly, and this density changes with the variable r, so we do the integrals with the rho e four pi r squared times dr, and integral from r one to r naught, and then solve this equation. We get the enclosed charge look like this one. Input is enclosed charge in this function. We get the function look like this one. So you can see pi pi cancelled, and then one. And two, so we can simplify it as this equation, right? The part D, we need to plot the E versus R from the R equal to zero to R equal to two times R naught. So we can write down all our equation at zero. So from the R larger than zero, smaller than R one, we know E equal to zero, right? And the from R larger than R one. Smaller than R naught, we know it looks like this one. From the R larger than R naught, we know the function looks like this one. If we plot it, it looks a little bit difficult. We have a way to simplify it. 
want to simplify it, we consider that R1 is half of R0. And also, we have the electric field, as we call it E0, as the R equal to R0. Okay, so R equal to R0, we can input this one inside, input this one inside, and then this is the term for E0. So now we can get the ratio E. In this case, R is larger than R1, smaller than R0. We get the ratio E over E0. Because E0 is a constant, so we just uh, divide it, right? E over E0. Look like this one, right? We can say 2 E was no. 2 E was no cancelled, right? Rho not, rho not cancelled. R1, R1 cancelled. So we get this uh, function, look like this one. And input is R1 inside, simplified, we get it, sorry, look like this one. And uh, similarly, the R larger than R0, so we can get the ratio E over E0. So input is E0 inside, we can say 2 epsilon naught, 2 epsilon naught cancelled, R1 epsilon naught, R1 epsilon naught cancelled. And then we can simplify it as this one. Now it's easy to plot it. At the initial, it's zero, and in this case, it's up and then moves down. Thank you.